many Koreans, this is ultimate nutrition food. Grilled eel or jangogui. Rich in protein, calcium, and vitamins. One eel is enough to get anyone energized. So let's get cooking. I separated the eels, heads, and bones from bodies earlier. Put the heads and bones into a pot. Half an onion and ginger. Add a little of water, then boil. Boil until the broth has reduced to half. Meanwhile, we can prep our sauce. What we need are soy sauce, rice wine, sugar, honey, red chili pepper powder, corn syrup, gochujang, then ginger juice, and garlic. Looks like our broth has boiled out a bit, doesn't it? Let's add some sauce and boil for another 7 to 8 minutes. Now cut up the hills into roughly 5 cm long pieces. One thing to remember, with water, the eels can taste even more fishy. So pat them dry with kitchen paper towel. Another trick is sprinkle lemon juice to get rid of fish taste and smell. Then put the eel fillets on an oven tray and in the oven, Heat it to 220 degrees Celsius and grill it for 10 minutes. Time's up! Let's see if the eel fill is done. Looks like they are ready for another round. Next, cover the eel fill with the sauce. And back they go, into the oven, another 15 minutes. Mmm, looks great, doesn't it? Last but not least, add some baby leaves. And we are done. Especially if you are in need of an energy boost. There's nothing like Changogui. Koreans are known for their love of chicken and an all-time favorite recipe is marinated chicken in gochujang known as dakgalbi. So here is my dakgalbi recipe. Start by making spicy sauce. Combine red chili pepper powder, soy sauce, sugar, corn syrup, onion, garlic, and salt. Add a splash of white wine or beer, and I've got beer today. If you're a fan of a strong flavor, you can prepare your takarbi sauce a day in advance. As for which part of chicken to use, I suggest either chicken thighs or breast, boneless. Season the chicken with salt, ginger, rosemary, white wine, and the spicy seasoning. This will kill any undesired meat smell. Marinate the chicken for up to an hour. 
Meantime, prepare the vegetables. Cut sweet potatoes about 1 cm thick or however you like it. Cut green onion. I got the Brussels sprouts today, so I'm using this as a whole. Mm. This is perla leaves. If you don't like the smell of the perla leaves, you could go for arugula or romaine lettuce instead. Traditionally, chewy rice cakes are included in takgalbi, but we are going to try something different and add spaghetti. So, let's cook our spaghetti for about 10 minutes. On a nicely oiled and heated pan, put in the Brussels sprouts, sweet potato, chicken, and some salt. Cook for about 20 minutes. Spaghetti together and cook for two minutes. And lastly, sprinkle some sesame seeds and perilla leaves on top. One special tip. After most of the takarbi is eaten, stir fry the remaining sauce with some plain rice, sesame oil, sesame seeds, and labor flakes. Then you have your second course of fried rice. Enjoy! <laughs> 